All right, guys, since I got the new bike, a couple things I noticed lacking is uh, an iPhone mount. So I'm gonna, I got this ram mount, the vice grip ram mount. Looks like I'm gonna set it right here. Looks like it'll work out pretty, pretty easy right there. Just a matter of mounting it up. So looks pretty easy to mount. Comes with the tool. You need to turn the screws, vibration proof uh, clamp gizmos, and little rubber gizmo. I think that'll work good. The only thing is, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's just, I don't even know what it is, what it's for. I don't think I need it. Anyway, so I'm going to put this together. Let's we'll see how it looks. So, everything comes in a bag. I got everything in a bag. Right down to the wrenches and everything. Oh, we got to set this thing up on here. I took the ball mount off already. It's pretty easy to do. Just unscrew the nut. Take the ball mount off. I got this little piece of rubbery tape. This is going to go right on the handlebars. Got a knife. All right, I got a mark on it. I'm just going to trim that back now. The nut goes into the backer and the screw goes through the ball mount. Gotta hold it, not lose the screw. These are also nylon vibration screws. Yeah. Or nuts, the nuts of nylon vibration nuts, so it won't fall out. All right, so there's a couple different plastic inserts and I didn't put the right ones in. There's, I guess one for every different size handlebar. That's awesome. Hopefully gonna use the right ones this time. And not have to do the thing twice again. They also have a big notch on them, so they notch right in. I'll take it. All right, I think I'm getting it this time. Hopefully, I'm getting it right. Got that nut in there. All right. I want to tighten it up too much before you turn it because that. Rubber tape. These things really make it a tight. I don't even have it tightened down yet. It's already getting snug. Really getting her snugged up. So it's got a little bit of elasticity to it. I got it pretty snug, but but it's not going to roll around. I, I don't think it will anyway. I got full tread in the nuts too. That's kind of important, I think. Well, there it is, guys. iPhone mount. It'll do this. So I can hit that. Hit that. I'll be able to use it. I'll be able to use my quick app for the GoPro. Plug into here and use that to voice record, too, with voice memo. And see how that works. The only glitch is the way it, it goes up here. It kind of wants to hit my buttons, so I have to hold it off to the side. See how it's not really centered in the mount? I think it'll be okay, unless it does this all the time. That'll bug me. Maybe that'll tighten up. No, I don't know. I'll have to see. All right, guys. This is the coveted Coleman ATV seat cover. That supposedly is the hot ticket for having a smooth ride on your bottom when you're riding one of, on one of these dirt bikes. So the CRF 300L Rally is getting one of these guys. Pretty good size. Looks like it might work. Huh. Now I can't wait to get it on there and try it out. Gotta get my tools out, which is an Allen wrench. I don't know if I to leave the strap on. Yeah, I'm gonna take it off because it'll give me a little more room for, for everything else. All the little straps all pinched on there. It's a real nuisance to get off. I don't think this Mad Dog's gonna work. I've got too much stuff. I got stuff right through here that matches perfectly through here. There's no room for the buckle. Oh man. And I cut the straps too. I do have another idea. But these buckles, I'm gonna cut them off and just lace lace this on with a piece of string. That's a brilliant plan. All right, I don't know if this is the smoothest plan, but this is what I'm doing. I'm taking the, the, my snips and I'm snipping these buckles off. And it's pretty tough. 
by golly. Yeah, it's not that tough. I'll get her. Ah, once you get the technique down, the technique is to get the blade, this part of the blade, away from the cord, and then just break the break the buckle, basically. Huh. All of a sudden, I'm not good at it again. Yeah, got that one. That one. See, but with this, with this edge here, by here I didn't, I didn't hurt any of the fabric. Not just a matter of twisting this out of here. Got it. That's got like a hook on it. Too bad about these little straps. They were really cool, but got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to break an egg to make an omelet, I guess. So there's, there's the carnage. All my cutoff straps, all these straps, cut. But now I got these loops. I'm gonna see if I can find a string and just make a make loop it around it. See what happens. Now we've got string, and I have an assistant. Hi. It's like uh, like Christmas, right? We're gonna be tying doing a Christmas present. I need somebody to hold her finger on the bow. What I do, yell at everybody? No, you put your sweatshirt on backwards and pulled your pants down low and started rapping. Oh, I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm an amateur rap amateur artist. Amateur rapper. Yeah, that's going to get tight. And then I think back here we'll just go straight across. Or we can crisscross it again. Up. We gotta start over. You're all the way already? Mm -hmm. Lucky. But it's tough. But it's tough. You have dexterity, that's what. I gotta lick the twine. Wow. <laughs> It's like I licked a cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how I feel after I pet Mrs. Purpurs. Oh, Mrs. Purpurs. She's terrible. Here's what we do. You go through this way. And I go through this way. Now you don't want to go all through there. Yep. Now what you're going to do is go to this one. Like this. You cross that way, I cross this way. So you're there, I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just gotta square it up. Well, that ain't bad. Yeah, and you could at least do that. And then here. You have to tie that there. Go to this. Yep. So as long this as it's going here, back behind. It's gotta be behind this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we just go together, tie them together. Yeah! Now we're talking. See what we did? We crisscrossed all the way from the front to the back. Now that we just gotta pull some, pull some, I don't know how tight we gotta get it. All right guys, look at that. It's on there now and we just strung it. We just started at the top, went down on both of these so that they'll stay flat, crisscrossed, and then went did crisscrossed again on the last one and then went across and tied a knot. My assistant put her finger there, just like Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> now you can have your string back, too. Oh, thanks, Dad. All right, All right this is my daughter, Samantha. Thanks, Samantha. Hi, Dad. Can't see yes, in the sun. You're welcome. Bye, Thank you, honey. everyone. <laughs> there she goes. Bye, Dad. Love you. Love you, too. It does add some cushion, I can tell already. Now, that goes there. It's hooked. Nice. Got to put the bolts back in, get that lined up. Who else has the habit of sticking her tongue out when they're turning a the screw? Yeah. 
Got that one. Not gonna snug it down yet till I till I get the other one. Nice and snug. All right. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look horrible either. Looks like it might be more comfortable. I mean, it's got a little extra squish there. I don't know what they put in here. I don't know if it's neoprene or some kind of foam, memory foam maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take it for a spin. This is better. I can tell already. All right, guys, so I put the Coleman Mad Dog on my motorcycle seat and uh, took it for a quick little spin. I didn't go very far. I didn't have a helmet on. So, But anyway, I, I think I, I could tell there's going to be an improvement already. I think that's going to be a good stopgap measure before I go ahead and uh, throw 300 bucks down on the uh, seat concept seat. I'll go for the comfort seat, I think. And I think I'll go for the complete seat. I don't want to ruin the original seat, and I also I don't want to uh, I don't want to go through the work of staple it on there. And the way the seat's designed, it's got like a a deep ridge and I don't have a staple gun that it get down in and staple good so I don't want to I don't want to monkey with any of that so probably in the next few weeks I gotta save up a couple bucks of mad money I'll go ahead and order up that seat concept seat see how that goes who knows maybe that won't even be any better than the uh, $20 Coleman mad dog ATV seat cover because that uh, wasn't bad I mean I, like I said I didn't go real far but it wasn't real bad hey I uh, really enjoy you guys watching the videos Please like and subscribe if you like the video. If you don't like it, uh, dislike. Thanks a lot for watching the video. See you on the next one.